Are you thirsty? Maybe a little bit hungry? Well, you've come to the right place. Hello guys, and welcome to Tavern Master, a game that is scheduled to come out sometime around November 16th. We're getting a little bit of early look here at the game. Thanks to Luca for sending me a key to give it a try. If you like what you see, go to the Steam webpage for Tavern Master and add it to your wish list to get this bumped up and a moving. Uh, what is Tavern Master? Well, Tavern Master is all about managing your medieval tavern. You start with a very small room, couple of benches and tables, and build your way up to a huge successful tavern with a kitchen, rooms for guests, group of loyal staff, and much more. So I got into the game, just played a little bit to see if I would want to make a video on it. And I said, yep, definitely want to. And I kept playing and I, and I kept playing and finally I stopped and here we are making a video on it. So Tavern Master, let's get in there and get our tavern up and going. Uh, new game is what we want to do. Uh, welcome ta Tavern, you will be in charge of managing and growing your business next. Uh, can we skip the tutorial now? Oh, we can. Oh, good. I have to... I can skip it. Um, well, here's our tavern. Uh, there's no door and the walls are not complete. Uh, let's go ahead and, <laughs> and build some walls. Uh, let's go ahead and move down here. We're gonna start small because, well, we don't have that many coins. Uh, we're gonna need a door. So let's go ahead and pop in a, uh, a door right there. And I think the floor and everything is kind of like where we need it to be. So I got 850 coins. Probably gonna say coins, I may say gold, have no idea. There is prestige that we kind of have to uh, deal with as well. Uh, let's back out of here. Let's go into, not research, I wanna add, uh, let's see, let's move, do I wanna move the tables? Uh, let's go ahead and just add another table here. And we'll add another table here. Do I, do I, I don't know if I got enough coins to be doing all this, but we're gonna try to get it on up. So you can see seat four, four. Uh, the one thing you have to be kind of careful of on the ground, you can see like these little orange domes. Those are where light is reaching. If you put a seat in an area, is it actually gonna do that? There we go. Uh, you can actually see right there, um, there is no light in the area. So people will not sit there. Um, to go ahead and move that, I need to, uh, I didn't pause the game, so I'm wasting a day here, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and move this chair back over to here. All right, so we are all good there. Um, yeah, so, uh, we can seat 16 people and we're going to get like about 23 guests today. But before we get any guests in here, uh, the first thing I need to do, I need to go to research. Uh, I got to serve 25 guests before I can unlock a kitchen. So let's go ahead and, and get that research going. Now we'll come in here. I need a bartender. All right. So what bartender are we looking for? Everyone has their own specialty traits. This one attracts seven more customers per day. Mood decreases, gain experiences two times faster, mood decreases. Um, I'm looking at all their skill points, what they can actually have, and they all look kind of similar right now, don't they? Pretty much. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go with uh, Gale, because he's gonna serve a ale at some point. I, I don't know. Uh, but he gains experience two times faster. The other ones, I really don't care too much about. Attracting seven customers extra per day is okay, but I think at the beginning, we want someone that's gonna get some experience. Uh, a waitress would be good. Someone that can carry a good amount of drinks. Uh, you can carry a total of five. You could carry a total of five, same as you. Um, hmm. I was hoping there was a couple waitresses that actually get more money uh, on tips and such, but this is what we got to choose from. I think if I gain, if I pick someone that it gets experience two times faster, I can put more skill points into them later and as we go along, and it'll go faster. Yeah, we're gonna hire Maria because she also gets a, a tip as well right now. All right, so we got some workers, um, we got some benches. And let's go ahead and, oh wait, I gotta come over here and check the bar. Is my water jug full? It is, it is full. Can I afford a beer barrel on the first day? Yep, 200 coins, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Refill all for 150 coins, or you can tap on, if your, if your barrel is empty, we can see we're full of water. You can just click on one and refill it to a certain amount. We're gonna do max refill of 140. Why am I low on on water? 
uh, you don't have enough cash. Okay, uh, maybe that's why. I spent all my cash doing all that. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of there. And let's say we open up our tavern. Uh, here come our workers. Now I just gotta wait for some customers to come in. Hey, we got our first customer. So up here in the upper hand corner, it says uh, right now, we're currently gonna get about 30 customers per day, but my day is already half over because I forgot to pause the game when I started. So hopefully we can get enough cash coming in and uh, we'll see the research go up. Now, I gotta serve 25 people, but I think they gotta leave the tavern before that counts. And of course, when we open up a kitchen, well, we'll make have, have to make our tavern a little bit bigger. Uh, prestige will come in handy later on when we have special events for our tavern. So we'll we can hold special events and only certain people will come. There's different type of customers. As this runs in the background, we got our, our gray customers, which are just ordinary people. Uh, orange, yellow, and then purple. Uh, as they go up, you know, more prestige as it goes on. So I can see right now 16 people in my tavern. Average occup occupancy right now is like at 38%. And of course, we're doing nothing but serving drinks right now. So as for right now, we got one wait waitress. I think she can carry, what, four at a time? Four drinks at a time. So she's getting tips and serving drinks. We do close the bar, or sorry, bar. <laughs> we do close the tavern at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, I got a note over here. One of them, uh, oh, they both leveled up already. Sweet. Uh, they do gain experience two times faster. Um, so right now he was getting paid five, but if I level him up, yeah, you're gonna see it's gonna now cost 12 coins. I got two points. Let's go into, uh, he can carry three drinks and then pour drinks a little bit faster. I gain one tenth of a second, but you know what? It's good. Every time I do this, I always wanna come down here and hit fire uh, for some reason. We don't wanna fire anyone, we just opened up. Uh, our waitress. Yep, she's gonna get paid now 12 coins. Uh, you're gonna carry up to five drinks and start bringing in the tips. That's what we want from you. All right, let's go ahead and speed up. Now, since half the day kind of went by because I forgot to pause the game, uh, the money's not gonna come in as good as it could have. How are we doing on research here? Might have to go another day before we can research the kitchen, which is fine, which will give me a little bit more cash. So there are other things we can do. Uh, I think actually I can decorate the floor. We're gonna wait until, there we go, the day is over. So we brought in 144 coins. I probably could have done double that if I paused the game before I uh, was wasting anything. Uh, total seats, 16 occupancy. We're only uh, occupying 62% of the seats. So I don't need to add any seats anytime soon. Uh, the one thing I want to do, I don't wanna start the next game. The, day, the game does actually pause right at 12 o'clock. So don't worry about the game where you have to pause it. So. Right now, uh, you can subtract walls, you can add walls, you can add a door, which doesn't actually have a door on it, and of course, windows as well. Uh, wall textures, we can have different wall textures. Uh, the outside and the inside right now is, looks the same. The outside, I kind of like the looks of the outside. Uh, the inside, I want a different look. Um, do I just want wood on the inside? Uh, maybe I'll do wood around here. Right now, it costs nothing to do this. There we go, we'll just add that. But for the floor texture, I want the floor texture to be different where the bar is. Can I, is that showing up now? I can't quite see. Uh, did that change? Yes, it did. Now it's stone around here. Probably shouldn't have a stone. That's gonna be rough to walk on for a while. So we didn't get our research done. I, I probably could have if I didn't, you know, <laughs> if I remember to pause the game. All right, let's start the next day. So people come in. Oh, the other thing I need to probably do before I start the day, I need to go to this little tab right here and I need to refill the water and beer barrel. It's 26 coins. We can go ahead and do that. Make sure we got enough for the day. We should have. Should have for sure. Now we can get more guests coming in by adding prestige and we can do that by, if I come in here, we can add decorations. Um, we'll get into this as we go along here in the series, but you can see a lot of different decorations already. Uh, by adding a plant, it adds uh, getting 1.4 more guests per day, and it adds prestige. Uh, but we'll get that in a little bit later. I gotta save up the coins because I definitely wanna open up the kitchen as well. Uh, am I on fast speed? Yes, we are. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. The days do go by relatively uh, fast if you leave it on fast speed. In the beginning, it seems like you're doing okay, but as we get along here, I was hoping to get a waitress that can carry a lot more than five beers at a, or five drinks at a time because 
it's gonna be a while before I'm gonna be able to hire another waitress here soon but I won't be able to do I got to do that in research but then it's gonna be a while before I can hold, uh, hire another one so I'm gonna have two waitresses in here we're gonna have a lot of tables going on here in the near future uh, research is almost done which is good and once we open up the kitchen maybe we'll get more guests coming in but I'm gonna have to expand a little bit I don't know if I got enough coins to to open up um, for a kitchen yet how are we doing here? One person, one of these customers have to leave. There we go. Uh, oh, that's right. They give me 800 coins for unlocking the kitchen. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pause the game. Uh, for now, this is what we're going to do here. Let me scroll out. Uh, we're going to go into the building mode and we are going to subtract. Uh, we're going to subtract two walls. We actually get coins back on that, but that's not that big of a deal. And for now, we're going to expand it like this. All right, floor texture. We'll go with the wood floor in here, I guess, for now. Because things are going to keep getting moved around as we go along. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is go into here, go to kitchen. All right, so we need a counter for for the chef. Um, how close? Uh, let's get the chef as close as we can to the table. So that way the waitresses don't have to walk as far. So there's the counter. Uh, he is going to need a plate shelf. We'll try to get that close to the counter so the chef doesn't have to walk around as far. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really matter which way that faces, I don't think. And then, of course, the chest. How close can I get the chest? The chest is going to go there. That's where the food's going to be stored. All right, so we are good to go there. Let's back on out. Uh, menu is showing me the menu. So right now we can serve... Cherry cake, bread, apple pie, cinnamon rolls, and fruit bowls. I'm hoping when I go to hire a chef, I get a chef that does bonuses in and desserts. I think most, I think cherry cake, apple pie, I would assume cream rolls are all desserts. I'm not sure about a fruit bowl. I mean, that could be a dessert. Not too sure. Uh, let's go into here and hire ourselves a chef. Uh, mood decreases 20%, attracts 7% more. That's uh, 7%, plus more, 7, yeah. Seven more customers per every day. Walking speed doesn't decrease when carrying something. So, didn't get a chef that I was looking for. Um, I could hire Forrest. I mean, that, that sounds good. Uh, who has a lot of points into skill for desserts plus three coins? That might be good. And you do attract seven more customers per day. So, I think we're going to go ahead and hire Wharton. Yes, I can always fire people later on, which we might do, but not right at the beginning. Uh, okay, so the next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and get ourselves a, another waitress by doing some, some research. So I got to serve 40 more people, and then I can hire another waitress. That's going to come in, in kind of handy. Uh, while we're here and the game's paused, let's go down the research screen. You kind of see what's going on. Uh, special events, and to unlock these... These are the amount of people you got to serve. So just 50 ordinary customers. And then, of course, as we go down the research tree, you can see. Then I got to research, uh, get the research done by getting 10 orange guests. Uh, more higher level than there's yellow. Uh, we go down here, fireplace, grill, uh, hire another chef. You can kind of see all the things. There's the research. Um, I could add another bar. Uh, props for making soup. A new floor because we're going to have added floors for a hotel. That's right, we're going to have hotels, more waitresses. There's a hotel way down here. These are things I didn't get to when I was testing the game out, but you can see a lot of things to research. Keep on going down. And as of right now, this is what we have. Uh, let's go ahead and unpause the game and get going here. Um, here comes our chef. So what wait the waitress will do if someone orders something, she'll come over and yell to the chef what he needs to cook. And eventually she will serve it. Let's see if anyone finally comes in and wants to get anything so right now she just keeps serving drinks yeah and she has to take the cups off the table as well oh someone did level up that's our waitress which is good uh yep we're gonna get more tips and you're not climbing any stairs uh, you're maxed out on how many drinks you can serve uh let's let's just keep putting points into speed for you oh and our bartender has leveled up as well uh, pouring drinks, uh, put points into that so you can pour drinks faster. Everyone seems to be doing well. 
Uh, so right now I'm getting about 37 guests per day. And if I look at my occupancy right now, I still don't need any more tables. We're not, f we're not filling up. Oh, the day is over. Um, so today I made 528 coins, but then again, I got 800, 800 coins because we researched the kitchen, um, which is, which is all good. Uh, but purchases 650 bonuses. Oh yeah. That's 800 for research and kitchens. So I don't need any more tables or anything like that right now. So before I go into the next day, I'm going to come in here, refill all the barrels. Didn't cost that much. And if we come down here, we got to make sure food ingredients, we get definitely got to make sure that we get our chef all happy. Now, when you put down the chest, you do get half inventory and everything. So um, yeah, even though I didn't sell much food today, it was only like half empty because that's what you get when uh, you put down the first chest. Let's go ahead and start the next day. I do got some cash, which is good to start the day with. Uh, how many more people do I need to serve before I can get another waitress? Uh, what do I want to start adding? I think since I got the coins, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, I need to go ahead and let's grab some tables. Right now, we're just grabbing the cheesiest tables that we have because uh, that's pretty much all we can afford. And seats, and we'll put a seat there, 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 there. And yes, I know I need some lights over here. Um, so the candles are pretty, everything is the same as for prestige and the amount it cost. These right here, the candle stands, they cover a wide area. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna get the lamps. I like the looks of the lamps. Uh, wait, lamp, not enough. Oh, I'm down to 80 coins. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll have enough coins here in a while. So no one's probably gonna sit here, which is fine. But I'd rather have more tables down. So the waitress just came over, yelled to the chef to, uh, this is what you need to make. And she hollered again, so he's gonna make something else. And that's where the money will start to come in there. I got enough coins now to get a lamp down. And we're gonna put that right there. There we go. Exit on out. When you go into the build mode, the game does pause for you as well. So getting another waitress, as you can see pretty soon here, is going to be good. Hopefully we can get a waitress that can carry a lot of drinks because right now it's not too busy. But I played far enough to where I could see pretty close to 60 people in the bar, or sorry, the tavern at a time. And when they're doing food as well as serving drinks, they cannot keep up. I had two waitresses going. Uh, I didn't get as far to unlocking. I was getting close to unlocking four waitresses. But uh, I finally stopped playing. <laughs> Here I am making finally the video going. A little slow to start with, as you can imagine, like any game when you first start off. But uh, research will start building up. Uh, people will start coming in a little bit faster. We're going to have more barrels over here. Uh, eventually, we'll have to hire a security guard. Uh, like I said, there's a hotel that we can put in on second stairs. I didn't get that far at all. But uh, we will hopefully in this playthrough. Yeah, just keep bringing those coins. Oh, someone leveled up. It was our chef uh, for desserts. Uh, let's go ahead and bump you up on desserts because I think that's mostly what we're selling currently. Oh, someone else leveled up. Our waitress. Yep. All right, so we're just going to bump in speed for you. And yep, we can hire another waitress. Four drinks, four drinks. Okay, so we're pretty much maxed out on five drinks for everyone. Um, all right, you can already carry four drinks and you attract seven more customers per day. Uh, I was hoping for someone to get more on tips. Total income for today, for a while, it's gonna be where we're in the red, but that's that's just the way it is. But we're, we're still making cash, don't worry about it. We're gonna hire Alice, so you're good to go. Uh, research here. I think next thing we'll do is we'll research lemonade. I cannot do special events as you can see the lines. I gotta research all of these before I can research special events. Let's go ahead and do lemonade so we can get something else, uh, maybe attract more customers. Uh, let's come over to our bar, make sure we refill everything. And let's come over to our food chest and make sure we refill that so we're ready to go and start a new day. 
Starting off with 200, uh, 261 coins, not too bad. Prestige at 590. And I need to bump that up. Can I go into research and look at this now? I cannot. Um, I want to bump up my prestige up to 1,000, I think, before I can do special events. And special events will help us get the orange guest uh, right off the bat. But um, hopefully here we'll be able to serve some lemonade pretty darn soon. Um, do I want to start expanding the tavern a little bit? If I do expand, oh, something in the menu. So some, when something in the menu levels up, we serve five bread. So right now we were getting 12 coins per bread, but now that we leveled up, we're now getting 16. Just more income. Um, I think I want to actually expand the tavern back and push the bar back uh, just so we can build out. I mean, if I go into build mode, you can see how big the tavern can be uh, for each floor. So I'll move this back a couple walls here in a little while. Maybe by the end of the day, um, because we are not fulfilling our occupancy too much as of yet. As of yet, anyways. So if we go into research, you can see 11 more customers need to be served. And then we can buy ourselves some lemonade and we can serve lemonade at the same time. Uh, 15 uh, customers to get seven more guests per day. That's not too bad. So we'll probably get this research here pretty quick. Uh, all right, we'll give you a raise. Well, I will level you up, which means you get paid more and pouring faster would be good. So now you can see, that, yep, the chairs are starting to get more and more filled up to 79%. And this is why we need, so these are two waitresses. We're going to be stuck with two waitresses for a while and we're going to be expanding quite a bit. So they're going to be kind of busy for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and pause it just for a second. Uh, menu, something leveled up. Fruit bowl, I was getting paid 10 coins. Now we're gonna get paid 14. And in research, start research on seven guests per day. Uh, let's go over to here and to the bar. Do I have enough coins to purchase? Oh, yes we do. So lemonade, barrel, let's put that in. Let's refill everything while we're here. It's gonna cost me 194 coins to refill the water, beer, and lemonade. There we go. And while we're tapping everything off, Let's go ahead and just top off the chef as well. All right, back to work. So up to 55 guests per day. So research hopefully will go along. Do I got 15 people in here now? I think so. Uh, four, eight. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get that research done today. When they all leave, we'll get that research done and we'll get more guests per day. Something on the menu leveled up, which is cherry cake from 16 to 20 coins. Research is done. Let's get that clicked on as quickly as I possibly I got a few customers from that. <laughs> got it in just under the wire here. So I got a few guests. Now we're going to get seven, up to 62 guests a day. And right now I can seat uh, the four. And so I can seat 20. I can just go to here. It should be 24. I can seat 24 at a time. Occupancy is getting up there. 536 coins. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure everything is refilled to start the day for tomorrow. And I think what we're going to do is let's go into build mode. Let's go to here, here. And you know, we're just going to expand the wall like this for now. And let's delete these wall. I said delete these. Did I not select on that? There we go. No, I don't want to delete that wall. I want to delete these walls. Thank you. Um, floor texture. Let's go ahead and put this down like this. And then I'm doing wooden floor, am I not? Yeah, I think so. All right, time to move some things around here. We're going to move this bar as back as far as we can. And let's go ahead and move these tables up to here. Get it close to the bar as we possibly can. I know there's no lights up here. We'll, we'll take care of that soon. Just move everything up here. That way now I can focus when I move this stuff in the tavern, it's going to be moved more towards our right. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get some light here. Um, yep, that'll work. There we go. We're all lit up there. All right, let's go back to... Uh, wait, nope. Never mind. There we go. Let's go to... Build mode, wall texture. Change all that here. There we go. I know it's getting a little woody in there, but eventually we're gonna get some windows. Actually, you know what? I got a little bit of cash. I topped everything off. Uh, let's go back in here. No, sorry. Let's actually build. And we're going to put the door up there. And actually, we're going to put a window. There we go. Actually, I want to put a window there and a window there. And we're actually going to make this a wall like that. All right, let's go to decorations. And we're going to throw in some curtains on this puppy. Where are the curtains? Um, we do have different colors. I'm gonna go with blue, 75 coins a piece. So our prestige right now is at 640. You can see it going up a little bit. All right, let's get out of there and let's go ahead and I think we're ready to start the next day. So I'm minus 18 in coins because I had to pay my employees, but we'll be fine. It's all going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Yep. Let the guests all rummage into here. So right now we're, we're trying to research special events. Um, and then I think after I do special events, we'll probably research the wine. I think there's a special event I can do. I think my prestige might be high enough now and I'll research wine because on the first special event we do, we'll get 20 orange customers coming in. Yep, keep bringing in that cash. Oops, someone leveled up. Maria. I was seeing waitresses that can carry eight drinks at a time, which would be great. Right now they're doing fine, but you can see our tavern it's getting kind of full, so I might want to grab a couple more tables. I don't have all the money for everything, but we'll get down as much as we can here. Because we are getting full. I better save up some coins because I may need to refill something during the day, but hopefully not. I mean, I shouldn't say hopefully not. I mean, if I do, that just means we're selling a lot, right? Uh, something on the menu leveled up, which is good. Cream rolls go from 14 coins up to 18. And you can see there's a lot of things there that we can make. Well, we'll be able to make, just that we have to research that kind of stuff. Uh, apple pie is going from 15 to 19 coins per. We should get this research done today. I only got to serve 19 more customers. And like I said, it only counts until they leave. Someone else leveled up, which is our bartender. Uh, pour drinks faster, and then we'll do carrying speed because that's all you got left for you. Uh, someone else leveled up. You are the chef. Uh, get more for desserts, and now we'll bump up your speed a little bit as well. Now, you also, we also have to keep track of their happiness as well. They can get, they might get a little grumpy now and then. Uh, you, okay, that's the end of our day. Um, so that's two, four, six, uh, about 850, uh, wait, two, four, six, 750 coins. But overall made a profit of 435 coins. Uh, yeah, we were leveling you up. The bartender, or sorry, the uh, waitress. She can carry now five drinks and get more tips. That's always good. Um, research is done on the special events. 
we're gonna start research on some wine. And then we got this little tab over here now for special events. So now we can get one done. So we'll just have a regular party. We'll get 20 orange gas. We'll get a reward of 200 coins if we serve them all. Um, we do meet the requirement of 400 prestige. We're at 750, so we're fine. And you can see all the special events otherwise you can get. Uh, if we come on down here right now, I mean, we go to the top. Uh, we'll get 100 yellow guests plus two purple guests. Uh, but that's for the king and queen feast. That's a long ways off. But we're going to go ahead and schedule that one for a regular party. Uh, that's going to happen on Tuesday, September 3rd. And do I get to know... Okay, technically, that is actually tomorrow. So what we're going to do here, I think it's going to end the episode right here and give you a little bit of teaser for the special event. And we should be able to easily be able to unlock the wine. And then we'll start researching where we can change the dr drink prices ourselves. Uh, yes, raise the prices, but our guests per day may go down. But to start to the tavern, uh, it's looking a little bit, well, it's bigger than what we started with. Um... We got ourselves as employees and we got we got the ball rolling and well i just need a little bit more cash to get some more tables down do more research and eventually at some point we'll have more floors a hotel and a whole bunch of things but that's going to do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always i'll catch you again right here in tavern master but until then have a good one